Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome back to Podcastage. It has been a while since I have done a Versus series, so I am back with a heavy hitter. I am comparing two awesome-sounding microphones, the Neumann, hello Neumann, U87AI, and the Neumann, hello Neumann, TLM49. I am sure that won't get annoying. Before we go any further with any tests, let's discuss and walk through the build quality. Both of the microphones feel great. They have an all-metal body. They are both made in Germany. The metal mesh grills on both mics do have a bit of give to them, though so you will need to be a bit careful there. The TLM49 is a very chunky microphone. There are no buttons or switches on this thing. On the bottom, you have the XLR port, while the U87, on the other hand, is much longer. It has a three-way polar pattern selection switch on the front, and on the rear, you have a high-pass filter as well as a pad switch. And then just like the 49 on the bottom, you have an XLR port. Now let's get into the actual testing, and we are going to start with a blind comparison. What you're hearing right now is microphone A. This is what microphone A sounds like. Now I have switched over to microphone B. Here is what microphone B sounds like. Here's another sample on microphone A, microphone A, and here's another sample on microphone B. This is microphone B. Also, here is a sentence that I will play back on both microphones, so what you hear is the exact same performance, just on different microphones. Also, here is a sentence that I will play back on both microphones, so what you hear is the exact same performance, just on different microphones. Before I reveal which microphone is which, leave your guesses in the comments down below and let me know which one you preferred better. I will disclose which is which in 5, 4, 3, two, one, microphone A was the TLM49, and microphone B was the U87AI. Did you get it right? Which one did you prefer? Now let's walk through all the specs, pricing, and do a whole bunch more testing. Starting on the TLM49, this microphone costs about $1,700. It has a single cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a sensitivity of approximately minus 38 dB, an equivalent self noise of 12 dBA, a max SPL of 110 dB for 0.5% THD, and an impedance of 50 ohms. Then we have the U87, and this microphone costs about $3,750. Ouch. It is multiple polar patterns, so it has cardioid, figure eight, and omnidirectional, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a sensitivity of approximately minus 31 to minus 34 dB, depending on the polar pattern, an equivalent self noise of 12 to 15 dBA, again, depending on the polar pattern, a max SPL of 127 dB with a 0.5% THD with the pad engaged, you get a minus 10 dB pad, and this has an impedance of 200 ohms. Now I'm spinning around the TLM 49 to 90 degrees to show you the off-axis rejection and coloration. Continuing around to 180 degrees, this is the rear. Continuing around to the second 90 degree angle, there it is. And then rotating and ending at the front of the microphone. Now on the cardioid pattern on the U87, around to 90 degrees to show you the off-axis coloration. Continuing around to 180 degrees, this is the rear of the mic. Continuing around to the second 90 degree angle, there it is. And then rotating and ending at the front of the 87. Now you're hearing the TLM49 as I type on Gatoron Blue switches to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And here is the same test on the U87 AI to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I am right on top of the TLM49 to exaggerate the proximity effect and here is how it's sounding. 
And now, here is how the U87 AI sounds in the exact same position to exaggerate the proximity effect. Now I'm about 6 inches off of the TLM49, and here is how it's sounding, and here is how the U87 AI sounds about 6 inches away. Now here's the TLM49 one foot away, and here is the U87 one foot away, about 2 feet away from the TLM49, and 2 feet away from the U87 AI, and lastly about 4 feet away from the TLM49, and 4 feet away from the Neumann U87 AI. Now we're going to do the entire music test, but it is going to be a blind test, so you won't know which microphone is which, you will just know mic A or mic B, and at the end of it, I'll disclose which microphone is which, so let me know which one you liked better. you trust no one and make sure that you trust no one and know the truth is out there know the truth is out there you trust no one and know the truth is out there if you make sure that you trust no one and know the truth is out there if you want yep all the cliches from the X-Files. I'll disclose which mic is which in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Microphone A was the U87. Microphone B was the TLM49. Which one did you prefer? And the winner of this versus series is, drumroll please, neither of them. Now put down, put down your torches and pitchforks. I am not saying they are bad microphones. I simply could not choose which one I liked. And that is a bit shocking given the massive price difference between the 49 and the 87. So if I had a water pistol against my head for YouTube's sake and I had to pick just based on the value, I'd probably lean towards the TLM 49 but that's just because it's $2,000 cheaper. 
On the electric guitar, I'm favoring the U87 ever so slightly. To my ears, the TLM49 had a little bit more sizzle in the top end and was just slightly less pleasing than the 87. While the 87 was more forward in the upper mids, presence, and treble region and was overall much smoother. On the acoustic guitar, I'm leaning slightly towards the TLM49. The U87 is just incredibly smooth, which is great, but I like the added articulation that I heard from the 49. For singing vocals, I think it's a complete toss-up between these microphones because they both sound great. The 87 gives you that classic 87 sound. It is forward, it is incredibly smooth, and it is just beautiful and works incredibly. The TLM 49 has a bit more grit to it, which I think makes it a little bit more exciting. So it's really going to come down to your personal preference and what kind of character you want for your singing vocals. And finally, for spoken word, I know I am copping out, but this is another complete and utter toss-up for me. I love both of them. The 87 gives you that mid-forward sound, that upper mid-forward sound, and that incredibly smooth character, while the TLM 49 has a bit more control in the bass, a bit grittier in the upper frequencies, and it also sounds a little bit more open when compared to the 87. So again, both of them sound great, and it's going to come down to your personal preference on what kind of character you want for that recording. So to finalize my thoughts about this version, Versus series, it's really difficult to pick a winner because they both sound great. So I think it's going to come down to personal preference on tone and character, but as well as a few specs. If you only need a cardioid polar pattern and you aren't miking up incredibly loud sound sources and you like the sound of the 49, I think that's the route to go because you can save a whole bunch of money compared to the 87. But if you need those multiple polar patterns, if you need that higher max SPL of 127 dB, and if you want that high pass filter, or if you prefer that more forward and smoother sound of the 87, there's really no substitute for it, so that would be the route to go. But honestly, if you have either of these microphones, I would say you're doing pretty well because they both sound fantastic and I don't think you can go wrong. So if you have one, just go forth and record something that's really cool and sounds neat. All right, that's it for this Versus series. Let me know which team you're on, Team TLM49 or Team U87 in the comments down below. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye-bye. Whoa, whoa. Boop.